What's up guys, it's Andrew here from Brit Breaks. How is everyone doing? I'm recording to you as the UK goes back into lockdown. Uh, so I thought what better to uh, not celebrate but kind of commiserate that kind of situation that we're in than a, another pack and sip, rip and sip, um, or pack some pints as the wonderful Borrow Breaks does. Uh, check out his videos, I'll link him. We've got quite an assortment here. Um, the advent calendars are done and both for NFL and NMA for baseball um, those will probably be live if not sold out by the time this video comes up I'm a bit behind in terms of putting content out um, we have quite a wide varied selection here um, six sports we've got some F1 for the first time for me ever a few more match attacks just in the base cello that came in a freebie a little bit of Pokemon again Chronicles Baseball, they went really hot, it's cooled down. A few varieties of football and a few varieties of baseball, just to kind of see some of the stuff you'll get in the advent calendar. Uh, but less talking, um, let's get ripping. Um, after, I should say, we have our beer. So today we've gone for the Alda IPA. Um, so for you Americans and don't know in the UK, uh, Aldi is a called what would you say a discount retailer um low-end supermarket sells stuff on cheap they're predominantly european but they do have stores in europe now in the uk now um what happened here was aldi and another discount retailer Lidl are notorious for kind of producing knockoff products uh getting on the borderline of copyrights uh this time they kind of went a bit too far bruno weren't too happy told them off uh started by making a joke out of them by pretending to launch this um, in the end they actually launched it into Aldi uh, so decent bit of marketing uh, they both sides win-win uh, managed to launch an IPA that they both liked at a price they wanted and both make profit um, so it's a own label IPA is how it's described uh, just a standard IPA 330 mil can and this is at 4.7 percent alcohol um, so not super strong Pretty run-of-the-mill nothing too exciting um, But a decent cheapest drink Let's start with the new sport F1 um, Completely new in terms of card openings for me. I think there have been a few Panini or Tops instance um, Tops now I should say But these are the first sole launch max attacks Obviously doesn't have too much kind of value as a card. Um, Kevin Magnussen, Romain Grosjean. Roy Nassani, Marino Sato. Charles Leclerc, flashback Ferrari. And a Lewis Hamilton. Do not know if that has any value. Um, probably does not. But that is a Lewis Hamilton match tax. Probably the biggest hit there. Um, small claims to fame, I have served Lewis Hamilton when I used to work in Sainsbury's as a teenager. He took four pints of milk, semi-skimmed, and a box of protein powder. So yeah, claim to fame. Um, back on video, we move on to football. So Tops recently gave away these free starter packs. Uh, you've got a nice pack of cards like this, and a calendar, not a calendar, sorry. A stack um, folder that's the word I'm looking for a gold limited edition for menu scan code if you play that go for it we've got a Clement Longley Georgie Vinaldum. they have improved the design a little bit uh, David Alaba I believe there's now autos randomly inserted into retail Danny Olmo is a big fan of his game uh, Mohamed Salah Angel de Muria, Casemiro, Vinicius Junior, Juan Misaka, Marquinhos, Pulisic, Marco Reusch, and an agent card. Plus 5 million, that's not a thicker stock. Does this mean I win 5 million? Do I redeem this? Is this a Tops Redemption? I wish. Uh, moving on to non sport Pokemon. This is Darkness Blaze. Um, second two sets ago I believe this was before Champions Path um, 
looking for Charizards as always pretty much. Um, the new Vivage Voltage set is coming out soon. Um, if you're interested in Kerry card you can have that, there you go. And I have a couple of pre-orders actually, so I'm excited to open some of that stuff. The giant kind of Pikachu cards look pretty cool. Ursa Ring, Rose Tower, Skarmory, Cubju, Wimpod, Bunnelby, that's a funky card, uh, Toxel in my squad in uh, Sword Shield, Carablast Reverse, and a base Galarian Darmanitan. There's nothing super there. Moving on to Basketball. If you want some free dunk packs, use Chronicles BKOW20. Um, I have seen people selling digital cards online for kind of crazy pricing. Five, ten pounds. Oh, I've seen an exciting card on the back. Um, I'll keep that secret for you guys. But there's a very nice card on the back. Chris Paul, Defender of the Realm. Do like Chronicles, super fun kind of mix. We've got a Yanis. Shea Gilgis Alexander. Cam Reddish rookie, it's not bad. I uh, don't think these prestige ones holds too much value, but I'll do some research. And if it's more than kind of a five, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, Stephen Curry. Panini Fred's Eric Pascal. Trey Young, second year. Cool card. We got a rated rookie of Terence Davis for the Raptors. Flipping these cards all over. Jarrett Culver, a rookie card. Big fan of the Luminance, and this is a nice one. Kobe White. Not with the uh, embossed pattern that they normally do in football. Um, it is embossed silver at the top, but that's a nice card. Kobe White. So we're getting some nice rookies so far. Matisse Feibel. Really rookie loaded, these um, Chronicles packs. I have seen that across people opening the retail stuff. I think that's why the values have started to drop. It's a lose focus here. Um, because they are just so many of them, to be honest. Oh. Oh, what's the curtain? Wow, well, that's a turn up for the books. We actually have an auto. Zach Norvell Jr. Warriors Apprentice card. And not numbered, but I don't know how good Zach Norvell is either. But for one single fat pack, I will certainly take an auto. Um, our last card is a Ruri, so another good player. And this is the one I mentioned earlier. That's a Zion Recon. Really nice card. Uh, centering looks okay. There's a few kind of marks around the edge. If you can kind of see here. I think that's actually a dent in the card there. I can't get it to focus. There you go. Yeah, it's a scratchy dent. Um, so probably not a super high grader. But that is a very nice card. Big fan of the recons. Got a nice auto. So that was a good pack. Um, let's move on to baseball. Starting with the Stadium Club box toppers. Uh, 2020 Stadium Club. Always love Stadium Club. I think the photography is brilliant. That's obviously what it's renowned for. Um, obviously the box toppers won't fit into my advent calendars, so I've kept both. And this one we have is a lovely Mark Maguire. Really nice card. I like these kind of full length photos. Um, not a super interesting player to me, but that is a neat card. And if you are an Oakland fan, let me know. Uh, we're going to switch between the two just to keep both of you baseball and football fans interested. So we're going to open some tops. 2006, turn back the clock. And so these were exclusively given to hobby shops. And all in the throwback style of the 50s artworks. It's Norris Moss. I think I've got that in every pack I've opened. Matt Leonard, D'Angelo Williams, Maurice Jones drew, only drew it there, and Lawrence Maroney. I'm sure I've had that identical pack before. So I'm wondering if the whole box is identical we'll see because i have a second pack here so let's see if my theory is correct or if there is multiple types in this box it is indeed every single pack is going to be the same print run ah that is an issue i'm glad i didn't put uh two of these into the box because 
they are all identical. Um, moving on to, let's save that one for later. Some really good packs on the baseball side. They're all really good, in fact. Uh, we'll do 2018 Series 1. Um, it's not the biggest series in 2018. Uh, we're looking for uh, Devers. I think Flaherty is in here as well. Um, Cody Ujera. Cesar Hernandez. J.D. Davis for the Cheats. Ryan McMahon. The Rockies, nice throwback to 83. Uh, Dominic Smith, Josh Donaldson opening day card, Lance McCullers World Series, Red Scott Feldman, Wild, Wild, <laughs> Will Millers, Will Millers, Will Myers, Blah. and a Josh Tomlin. Nothing super great in that one. We'll move back to football. Uh, we'll do some upper deck 91. Uh, so this is famous for the Favre rookie. Um, I believe this is where Favre is actually spelt wrong as well. Spelt F-A-R-V-E rather than V-R-E. Um, I won't spend too long through these guys. Harold Green, Retro Bengals, Fred Marion, Randall McDaniel, Michael Brooks. We've got a rookie, Anton Davis tackle. Warren Moon, nice for the Oilers, Dan Marino, Calvin Williams, Sammy Smith, and Anthony Tony. Sticking with football, we'll go to 90-1990 score series one. Um, I think we're looking for kind of uh, Junior Seau is in this, I believe. And I think I'm right in saying Emmett Smith might be in this as well. It's a horrible kind of plastic pack. We have Jim Everett for the Rams, Merrill Hogue, Steve Young, Daryl Talley. Oh, this is cool. Little holographic Super Bowl trivia card. And I don't know how you get to see the whole picture. Uh, who rushed the most times in one Super Bowl game? Franco Harris, Larry Slonka. Matt Snell or John Riggins? And if you don't know the answer, the answer is D. Riggins, who rushed for 38 times in Super Bowl 17. I believe that is. I don't know if that's still the case. Comment below if you know, uh, NFL trivia fans. Henry Ellard, John Offerdale, Sterling Sharp, Dion Sanders, primetime. Sam Mills, I don't know what year that is for Dion. Is that a second year? It is second year Dion Sanders. Don't know if that has any value. Probably not because from the era. These cards were just so mass produced. Harry Long, you see on quite a few of these uh, recent legend cards. Same with Christian Okoye on the ground force. John Freitz. Hot gun Boomer Siason. Know a few Bengals fans that would enjoy that one. Jay Hilgenberg. Ronnie Lott. And a Robert Awalt. So they are fun stuff. Um, the kind of junk here, as we say, is growing a little bit now in kind of the recent uh, times, but obviously still not super desirable, even in PSA 10s of some of these guys. I think the Flava rookie is really not that high value, um, just because there's so many of them. So people who wanted them have them. These are fun ones. These are Flintstones cards. I didn't show you the pack there, but we've got the Bucks old school logo. 49ers, Browns, Signals, uh, Giants, Eagles, Chargers, and a nice little colouring card. So yeah, they don't have super value. They are going up a little bit, as I mentioned. I think we've seen um, people realise that the kind of it's better to invest in the guy who's had the good career than the guys who could be injured next year. You're looking at kind of the population counts of a Zion Prism, for example. They're now higher than a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie, which is a bit worrying, uh, for sure. I would stay away from plain base cards, 
for grading I would try and push to numbered parallels if you can at least color parallels um, tops chrome and stick to tens if you're buying grit slabbed cards um, I don't think nines will super grow not in modern era anyway I think older stuff especially in kind of what we're seeing in Pokemon those lower numbers are growing especially with the boom in Charizards uh, Trevor Story Michael Chavis Big Mike Yastrzemski had a good season, and Sean Anderson. Uh, don't know the exact value of this. Again, anything more than a five, I'll ping on the screen. Um, let's go for some 1991 Stadium Club football. Again, mentioned I'm a big fan of Stadium Club. Photography comes back to this initial year, 91, and the fact that it was launched with Kodak software. Um, paper, printing paper as well, I believe. So kind of in here, um, I'm not sure who exactly we're looking for. I will ping it on the screen if I <coughs> can find it. Uh, Sean Landetta, Marcus Koch. That is not a thick card, that is three cards stuck together, which you will find with these 90s glossy cards. A toy cook, checklist card, uh, club membership. Rob Moore, stuck together again. We got a Daryl Thompson, more sticky stick. Pierce Holt, Jim Breach for the Bengals. Jay Shrouder, again a few stuck together there. We got a Demonte Dawson for the Squealers and a Patrick Hunter, followed by our last card, a Randall Cunningham who is, oh, if I stop moving the camera. Not Ricky. This is the cool thing I forgot to mention about these same clubs, is they show their rookie card on the right. So you don't need to research. It tells you. Uh, so 1980 for Jim Breach, there you see. And 1987, yep, yeah, for Mr. Cunningham. So that's pretty cool. So there's a lot of research. Next up, we will go for some 18 minor league heritage. So looking for a lot of good guys in here. So we've got Tatis, uh, we've got, I think Eloy is in here. I think we've got um, Vlad's in here. Loads of uh, guys who are now up in the league and performing well. This was kind of their year of minor league. So we've got a Chris Sice for the Indians. Nice Vlad Guerrero. Uh, his cards plummeted, um, but he's still got potential. He's a young guy, long, quick career. Certainly hits the ball long. Um, it's just whether he can do it consistency, consistently. Alex Lang for the Pelicans. Uh, doesn't say where the Pelicans are. We've got Taylor Ward for the Bay Bears. Justin Williams for the Bulls. Eloy, as we were mentioning, on the tops news for the Barons, a Bruce Star Gratteron for the Colonels, and a Zach Birdie pitcher for the Knights. Moving on to our penultimate football. It's just a retail pack of Domrus 2020. If he can get it open. Obviously looking for Mr. Burrow. Uh, we are looking for Mr. Herbert, and now Tua. We've got Max Crosby, Corey Littleton, uh, DJ Chark, Logan Wilson for the Bengals, Deontay Johnson, Joe Montana throwback, and that is our pack. If you want to go to the Super Bowl, whether they'll let you in, uh, there's your access card, kids, reporter. Um, we will do our heritage high number chromes here. So. 19 high number, obviously the Tatis is that big card there. There's a lot of good guys in 19. Uh, this is the Chrome Pack out of a Mega Box. Beautiful, beautiful cards. So we've got Brett Gardner. These are stuck together a little bit. Corbin Martin, rookie, not the rookie we want. We've got a Christian Walker and our last card is Royals 
Ian Kennedy. So not anything super special there. Moving on to our last football mosaic cello pack. Again, the same guys as we we're looking for in Donruss. Looking for those silvers and the mosaics. I think the base there is just so much of it. Um, although it is full of print errors, uh, scratches like this, if you can see. Um, so if you can get it in high quality and gradable, then perhaps there is some value in it. So Joe Mixon. Steve Stephen Gilmore. Um, I did have someone I know who pulled a Genesis Brady on the night that I'm filming this. Uh, Dwayne Haskins followed by Silver. NFL, no it's not, it's a Hall of Fame. Uh, Steve Young, very nice. And a Pro Bowl, Claire Campbell to finish. Followed by another Kid Reporter, if you're interested. There's a code. So our last pack is a very nice pack. It's 2014 Bowman Draft. Uh, so again, Eloy, uh, again, Flaherty. Um, I think we're looking for potentially Devers as well in this one. Um, let's see what we can do. I love the kind of chrome ones of those guys. We've got a first of Jerry Gatto for the Angels. Hunter Renfro, not a first, Isan Diaz is our first and his son Diaz was drafted by the Diamondbacks do not know where he is now comment if you do nice draft day photo of Nick Gordon who I believe is the front of pack guy yeah Nick Gordon up there with Tyler Kolek it is interesting looking back at these old packs seeing which guys do and don't pan out from flag flagship artwork Forest Wall for the Rockies a Lane Thomas for the Blue Jays and another first of Jeff Hoffman also for the Blue Jays. No one's super exciting there. We did get a really nice auto, hit a Zion. Um, but then just nice to see a lot of different products. Hope you enjoyed seeing all those designs, all those different sports and Pokemon as well. Um, if you enjoyed, drop a comment and be sure to see you around soon. See ya.